Faraday Future, FFIE stock. Let's have a quick update on this one. And let's have a look at the numbers because the intrinsic value is giving us a value today of $1.42. Does that make sense to you? What do you think? Well, let's have a look at it. Uh, this is a stock that we covered for a while, and uh, I did my best to try to warn people that this was a waste of time. This was a this was a scam stock. It was being promoted by people like Omar, uh, who has a, a gambling addiction, who uh, proclaims to be a bit simple and daft. I don't know what I'm really doing, and I don't know what's going on. He knows exactly what's going on. Made millions on YouTube, at least he should have done, by the numbers that he's had, and yet he hasn't got money to pay his rent. He said that on one of his videos. And people followed him and said, if we all if we all pray to God, God's going to save us with our gambling addictions, and we're all going to make money. Basically, a full-on full-blown cult following. And I said this stock is rubbish, it's useless, it's got no value whatsoever. Well, here we go. Every day it's down. Now it's down 12.6% today. If we look at the uh, the run over the last three months, you'll see it's up 599%. That's when it popped up uh, when it did the uh, meme stock craze with GameStop. You remember that? It popped up uh, and it went straight back down again. Many people bought it on the way up and now they're left holding the bag of something with no value whatsoever. Over the last month, it's down 36%. Uh, one week, I mean, what can I say about this? Let's look at the valuation and uh, see. I'm not even going to ask you to tap the like or subscribe because the people that watch this video are the only ones that are bullish on it and they will just say, uh, this is rubbish and they'll down like the video. So, down like it if you want. I don't care. It's the truth. I'm just telling you the truth. What you do about it doesn't bother me. I'm not trying to get your subscription, get your like. I'm not even trying to earn money from the video. I'm just putting the right message out there. So if someone sees it, they might be able to save themselves from losing all their money. That's all I care about. Okay, if we look at the uh, if we look at this here, the intrinsic valuation, which is what some people look at, people like Omar who who profess to know nothing about investing, will look at this and go, look, it's undervalued by seventy seven percent. It's great. Let's look at the intrinsic valuation. This intrinsic valuation is not enough. It's a headline. However, it's based on very limited information with this company, so it can look great. Remember Fisker. Fisker is now bankrupt, and Fisker had hundreds of dollars as a valuation, remember? It's backward-looking if, if the metrics have not been updated and no further details have been provided. You're looking backward, and people look at it and go, this is great. It's not great. There's no value here whatsoever. We've learned this lesson countless times. Look at the revenue. Looks great, right? Keeps going up, keeps going up. Everything looks fantastic. Hang on a minute. Well, uh, December the 30th, uh, that was an estimate. December the 30th, that hasn't happened yet. This is where we are now. September the 30th, that's an estimate. This is, this is where we are June 30th, that's an estimate. Uh, estimate, March. Are you getting the impression? Are you, get, are you getting what I'm trying to suggest? These are all estimates, even March, which is now gone. June, estimate, because there's no reporting. They're just left like that. So you look at it and go, this is great. The revenue's going up. It's not going up. They're not reporting. They're not, they're not doing their SEC regulations. They're li literally leaving this information lying all over the internet. And people are going, wow, this looks good. There is no operating income. There is no net income. These are all out of date figures. Nothing is being supplied. Uh, there is nothing to say here. If there was, I would say it. Unfortunately, there isn't. There's no valuation here at all. You look at the gross margins, negative 4,000. This, this is when they were reporting. Negative 51,000. Net margin, negative 97%. You can't get lower figures than this. I mean, we, we, we're sort of digging down to the center of the earth with, with negativity. We can't go any lower. What about this here? Look at this, declining ROE, declining ROIC, negative operating income, negative net income, profitability score 11. It doesn't go any lower, 11 out of 100. It, prof, you can't get lower, it's as red as it gets. What about solvency, 26%, it's bankrupt, it's not paying its own rent. Uh, what can I say? Wall Street targets, none, no one's analyzing it anymore, they've given up on it. Wall Street, don't even look at it anymore. Uh, what, is, what have we got here? Um, this was back in, uh, when do we, uh, look at this. During the last 12 months, Faraday Insiders bought $300 worth of the stock. 300 
dollars just to make that look like the insiders are buying. People without a brain who follow cult followings will go, look, insiders are buying. This is fantastic. I'm going to buy it. It's only 31 cents. It's not worth a zero cents. And if you read it, they bought $300. All right. Okay. I'll buy $30,000. We all going to buy it now? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What about the short interest? Well, oh, hang on a minute. Let me just go back that way. Uh, the short interest. Uh, people go, yeah, but there's a massive short squeeze. No, there ain't. Shorts don't even care about it. 7% short. I hear this all the time from the cult following. Yeah, but it's going to have a short squeeze. First of all, you need volume. There is none. Second of all, you need at least 20% uh, short interest, at least. GameStop um, uh, squeezed at 100%. We're at seven. No one's shorting it. No one even cares. No one's even paying attention to it. There's no value here whatsoever. These are the reports, are, and you can see the only person reporting on it in the last year has been me. No CNBC, no Bloomberg. Look at this. No one is reporting Yahoo Finance one year ago. It's all me. No one else is bothered. Certainly Omar isn't going to get his review on this website, is he? All right, scrolling on down, scrolling on down, no, no sentiment, no latest news, nothing going on. Now and again, we get a little bit of news uh, on a YouTube channel from the CEO. All of that is made up. It's all complete scam and entertainment. Uh, we get background music playing while he talks to try to make it sound exciting. Who are we appealing to? I don't understand who we're appealing to. Well, we're appealing to those that gamble who are desperate to make money in five minutes. This is not the way to make money. There we go. I haven't done an update for a month. I left it alone. I thought I would just update where we are. The reality, though, what you can do if you want to invest is work hard and just and, and do what I'm doing. I started with $5,000 and you can now see just owning the S&P, I'm at 104,996. My all-time high is 107 before the rotation. You could do that or you could just gamble all your money and it go to zero. The choice is yours. I'm just trying to help people. Take it or leave it. Like the video. Don't like the video. But this is the truth. FFIE has no value whatsoever. I'm amazed it's still, it's still around and I'm amazed there are people still trading it. I don't understand. Uh, click above my head for all the links down below in the description. If you want further analysis and you want to see a chart information from a technical analysis, uh, Sensei, who's done a full chart for you, if you want a, a different perspective, but equally telling you that FFIE is rubbish, that's over here. And down here, I'll put the playlist for FFIE. You can go and check it all out. Be careful. Don't follow anybody, including me on YouTube. Do your own research. But I promise you, I've made a commitment to always telling you the truth. I know, and it's why I only have 27,000 subscribers and Omar has millions. I know that telling the truth and saying you're going to lose money or this isn't a great stock isn't as great as telling everybody you're going to get rich in five minutes. I know. Doesn't matter to me. I want to do the right thing. Up to you what you do with that information. Take care of yourselves and each other.